Hello, my little woolly. After the summer pause, I'm really happy to be here again. And today we will start the new season of tutorials with something really, really easy to do. It's called the diagonal stitch. It's the easiest one I've ever seen, ideal for beginners. You just need to know how to knit and how to purl. It's a reversible stitch pattern, identical on both sides, and it doesn't curl. So it's great for knitting a scarf or a cowl, a blanket, even for a sweater. The project you want to do, name it, and this stitch is for you. So grab your needles and let's get started. Firstly, we need to cast on multiples of four plus two. For example, 4 times 3, 12, plus 2 edge stitches, 14. So I'm casting on 14 stitches. First row, right side of the work. The first and the last stitch will be knitted on each row. These are selvage or edge stitches. Start with net one. And now comes the repeat, what you will find between asterisks on the written instructions. Remember, you can find this one and all of my patterns on my website sowoolly.net. There is a link for you below this video on the description box. Or you could also check the first comment in this video. Okay, the repeat is purl two, one, two, net two. One, two. That's it. Let's do it again. Purl two. One, two. Net two. One, two. Once more. Purl two. One, two. Net two. One, two. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is one stitch left. And only in this first row, we are going to knit this stitch through the back loop. So we can avoid a huge loop there. Second row. Start with net one, and now comes the repeat. Pour one, net two, one, two, pour one, and repeat. Pour one. Net two, one, two, pour one. Again, pour one, net two, one, two, pour one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is only one stitch left and end the row with net one. Third row, start with net one, and now comes the repeat. Net two, one, two, purl two, 
one, two, and repeat. Knit two, one, two, purl two, one, two. Once more, knit two, one, two, purl two, one, and if you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is only one stitch left and end the row with net one. Fourth row and last row. Start with net one and now comes the repeat. Net one, purl two, one, two, Net one and repeat. Net one, purl two, one, two, net one. Again, net one, purl two, one, two, net one. If you have more stitches, keep repeating until there is only one stitch left and end the row with knit one. So that's it. Easy, isn't it? These four rows create the pattern. Repeat them until the desired length is reached. When finished, bind off, working each stitch as it presents after a row three. It means on the wrong side of the work. If you visit my website, you will see two important links in this post. Firstly, I'm showing you my trick to get crispy stitches, because especially in this kind of fabric, you don't want the stitches to be loose. You need them to be defined. And the second technique that you will find is how to bind off working each stitch as it presents. That's important if you are a beginner especially. So please let me know in the comments below if there is something special you want to learn to knit, a stitch, a pattern, and I'll be happy to give it a thought. So this is it for today, my little woolly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And happy knitting!